Hey YouTube, make a video how to replace this broken mirror on the Ford E250. All right, so first thing you wanna do is remove these little covers here and here, and this cover here, and they're gonna expose a couple of screws. And once you remove this cover, it's also gonna expose another screw right in there. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, what you're gonna need is a small flathead, and just go ahead and stick this right in there. It's designed to be latched right in there and pull it open just like so. Let's find out that drops. Just make sure you know where it lands. Same thing with this one. Just wanna reach in here. Make sure you know where it lands. Right there, right there. And don't just leave them there, pick them up. <laughs> now what you wanna do is put them in a little safe location. There it is. Now you have your screw there. Your screw down here. And we're gonna open this one up next. All right, for this one, all you simply do is just pull it open and it unlatches, has that latch right there. Let's put that to the side. And there's your other screw. So let's go ahead and remove them. Start by this one. And let's put them in a safe location. Same thing with this one. Oops, drop that one. <laughs> and if you drop them, just make sure you know where they land. And pick them right back up. Just a little hard when I'm doing it single-handedly. Now what you're gonna do is get a screwdriver and pry this open from this end. All right, so just stick the screwdriver in here, right in the corner. You might need two. Just pull this like that, and our other screw is right there. Let's go ahead and remove that screw. All right, now you could pop this off to remove the electrical connections. All you do is just push in this little clip to loosen up the pigtail and pull back. I'm gonna need two hands. Let me see if I can do this one. There it goes. So let me pull this one out real quick. All right, so there it is. Just wanna put that in a safe location. Now this door should just be able to come up, come loose, put this to the side. Next thing you're gonna need to do is remove these nuts right here. I believe there are seven sixteens, and these right here, which are do 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 seven seven. Seven sixteens. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the speaker and remove these as well, and then we'll be able to get that mirror out. All right, we're going to start with the speaker. Save all your screws, put them in a safe location. Alright, after you put your screws in a safe location, all you gotta do is just stick the, the uh, magnet to the door, or the speaker to the door, just to hold it there. Uh, the reason you want to remove that is because you need to reach up in here, and the wires clip right in there with this, but this is the pigtail for the power mirror. So this is how you reach into it. That's the reason why you gotta remove this speaker. So now we're gonna loosen this up. First remove the pigtail, loosen this up, and take the mirror off. All right, on this one you simply just pull up and pull, and it comes off. Now we're gonna remove these using the 7 sixteenths. And you just wanna put these in a safe location. Loose them because you're gonna need them to reinstall the new one back into its original place. So now that that's out, 
this just simply comes off just like so and there it is mirrors off and now we just replace it with the new one here we have the new one and it comes in this nifty little bag if I could get it out here it is boom brand spanking mirror it's not identical but it'll do the job and it's electrical so that's what we need and that's what we're going to need to uh, replace it so instead of just replacing the one that's broken i went ahead and replaced the other one as well already and like i said i like to do my work before i show it sweet so let's go ahead and install this first you're going to do is remove these little rubber pieces that protects the thread on these screws all right and we're gonna go and put in the pigtail in first and then place it in place all right so the pig all right so the pigtail is gonna go right in here I'm doing this single-handedly there it goes dang it <laughs> I need two hands to do this but there I got it so now we're gonna slide all that cable in there then we're gonna latch it into place all right once you got got it sitting into place what you're gonna do is put one of the nuts in, in there on the top one and then one at the bottom and then the uh, remaining two that way it holds it in place so let's go ahead and do that all right now that we have it in there what we're gonna do next is connect the pigtail all right so there we have the pigtail and we're just gonna snap it into place and just put it back into where it belongs. All right, next thing you're gonna do is pull these down little by little from the top to bottom. You just wanna finish them off with a ratchet to make sure they're nice and snug. a little bit and you don't want to over tighten this because it's plastic on the other end but you just do want to make sure they're nice and snug all right so now we'll start putting the whole door panel and everything back together first we'll start with the speaker and reverse our way back all right next thing you want to do is Alright, once you have the speaker back in its place, what you're going to do is grab the door panel. Make sure this is sticking up, because you're going to have to make that go into here. And then line everything up first. So let me go ahead and do that. Alright, once you put that in there, you snug everything down. Give it a nice yank down, make sure it's not coming out of place. Now, you bolt everything back down. So we're gonna put a, our bolt there, or our screw. Our screw down in there, and down here. Put this case back on, put our final screw. Put our case back on here, put our plug in. Connect all our pigtails and ready to rock and roll. All right, once you put in all those screws back into its place, what you're gonna do is slip these pigtails right up in here. And you're gonna put this like so. Uh, I might need two hands. Oh no, I got it. There it goes. You put in your final screw there. Alright, the next thing you do is connect your pigtails. back in there it is put in the final case or cover 
there it is. Everything is back in place. Oh, we just need to put the little caps right there. And right back here. There it is. Everything's complete. Now let's give it a try. All right, so here's the first one I replaced. There it is, you can tell it's working. Bad. Switch it over to the other one. Sweet. Tilt up. Tilt down. working perfectly and the brand spanking new all right and that's how you do a side view mirror change on a Ford E250 thank you for watching please like and subscribe don't forget to hit that bell all right let's get out of here before we get kicked out